Good morning everyone! Welcome back to my channel. And welcome back to Railroader. Oh, I, I can see that the chat cleared for some reason. Oh, it might... Oh, I, I think I know why. Okay. I, I think it should work. Uh, hang on. Uh, 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 let me just check this thing. Well, the emotes work. And the chat seems to be working. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, so it works. Right, I've been making some changes to uh, to Twitch channel. You probably noticed them. Uh, at least some of you probably noticed them already. And since there's a lot of things to configure, not everything might work straight away. Anyway. Uh, enough of that. Uh, welcome back to another morning coffee with me, the Admiral. Uh, we will be playing some Railroader. And as always, we will be playing some Stream Raiders. So everyone will find something for themselves. So, let's start off from... Stream Raiders, yes. Uh, we do that only once every 30 minutes, so let's let's do this first. There we go. Oh, hang on. Uh, I, I'm on quest. Uh, why is that? Okay. So, today Stream Raiders decided to start a new campaign. And I was automatically dragged into it. So unfortunately, our yesterday's progress has been reset. Uh, it's, it's something I got a little to no influence. But with that said, we are progressing through another campaign. There, there is quite a lot of things to achieve. And therefore, this might be even more fun than what we did yesterday. Yeah, I think that will work fine. Right. Chat. I got a faith in you, okay? I'm, I'm quite sure we can start gathering huge armies right from the beginning. So let's let's jump into this basic battle with a challenge level hard. Yeah, that sounds like a good stuff to start from. Okay. I will load this battle, which will probably take a while to, to start. Oh, there we go. Wonderful. Yeah, it is very basic. Uh, chat, it's... It, 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 I, I, I think someone had to put a lot of effort to, to actually make it happen. Hang on. Never mind. Sometimes there's a little bit too much on the screen. This is much better. Okay. Now, uh, who should I use? Level 5 spider, level 1, level 5. You know what? I, I'm going to use a healer. Okay, yes. I will boost my allies and my allies will do the work. That's, that's what I should do, probably. Yeah. Okay. Got 29 minutes to place your units. Do it now. So that we will conquer this land. And in the meantime, while you are building this magnificent army. We will hop into Ray Rhoda. There we go. Right. Uh, so we are picking up where we left off yesterday. Obviously, as always, everyone can join. 
the session is fully open and the details are posted on my discord so if you want to join hop on uh, hop onto my discord link is below the player and i hope it's accurate it should be if it's not then just message me and i'll i'll get it sorted and you can join me and run one of the trains uh, and, and there is some trains to run yes i i'm, I'm quite sure there are some trains to run hang on I should have yes there are three in total we got something at wit here and probably that is uh, crew number one that was well train number one that was left there uh, we got passenger train at Ila so if someone likes a passenger services we got one free and we got the locomotive that I usually use which is currently at Bryson speaking of Bryson I think we were switching something. Okay, so I just spotted that car. There's still a lot of cargo left. This thing is disconnected. Let me just select this locomotive. And now I believe we need to start moving those wagons back to Silva. Beautiful. Uh, hang on. This switch. That. that will be set and that will do for now lovely okay we still got some coal we still got some water I think that should be enough Well, technically, I could fill my call. I've got enough of that. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's do this. Let's let's play it safe. Yay! Okay, let's reverse. As always in the morning, expect some failures. As I'm still trying to wake up. <laughs> and that usually yields weird results. Okay, so call is loading. So as this is happening, might jump to Ela and get this bad boy on the move. 
first road. Yep. Why oh, not this extinguish? You see? And that should work. Okay. There's one thing that I need to do at right. Oh, okay, that is sorted. Well, technically, I could. Nah, still got plenty of time. Okay, call is loaded. Um, yeah, water tank is pretty much full. Right, we are good now. We are good. How's my finances? That is not too bad, not too bad. A little bit more effort and I should be able to afford another locomotive. Although I, I probably need to pay back my loan a little bit I could technically pay about half of it I'll take it I'll take it I think, I, right. I think actually paying our loan might be better. Because now that we have very busy railroad, we will have plenty of work. So I don't need to really worry about income. And in two, three days of in-game time, I will be able to pretty much get back on track with finances. Hmm. But if I don't pay the loan, I have to pay only the interest. But it will eventually increase the cost. I'll think about it. it. It's been only one, uh, only first day, and we managed to make fifty percent of of the loan value. That's pretty good result. Okay, waterfall. Glad hands. Release the hand brake. Okay, and now we have to waste, unfortunately. Yeah, because passenger train just passed Governor Island. So that's our opportunity to use passing track. Gone. Effectively. So now we need to wait for uh, for the passenger train to actually arrive at this station. And speaking of the station, did I place it? You see, of course. Not. Oh, that that could have ended badly. Yeah, that's. Okay. 
Okay. Now I need to go to Wit here. Yeah, wait here. Let, let me just check the economy. Uh, okay. So this one is ready. This one is ready. There's quite a lot of blocks ready. These are ready. Wow, Tankies did a great job yesterday. And let's see what's going on up with here. I'm gone. This place I want to be. And th these are empty. Oh my days. Right. Let me just set this switch. This one. Oh, I, I messed up. Uh, reverse. 15, perfect. Uh, no. Perfect. Okay, it's gonna take a minute before I properly wake up. <laughs> okay. How do I deal with those skeletons? I will need to collect all the... Well, uh, all the other cast you know what? First things first. enough space but we'll soon find out how's the passenger train oh it's now arriving at Bryson very good and throw this switch this switch okay number three can now move switch again which one? Okay, uh, now let's quickly get back to it here. I'm really glad they introduced that boss, otherwise Managing all those operations uh, would be very difficult if I'm doing this alone. That. That's not empty, that's not empty. Perfect. Just perfect. So, uh, 
first thing first, I want to go to the very end of the tunnel. Right. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit glitchy here. Okay. Okay, that's all set. Just to make sure. There are no issues. And let's check up and this tiny junction. Okay, that, that should do. So now we are ready to throw this switch. this switch perfect and you number one shall go uh, uh, 25 25 forward up you go come on Lovely job. Okay, I can delete that. I can delete that. And that also can be deleted. Now, uh, what I need to do is. My other train will automatically stop here if I won't make it. Perfect. So everything seems to be in motion. Uh, let's quickly hop into the passenger train. And I will set up everything. Perfect. And now, chat, I will take a very, very short break. I'll be back with you in five minutes.
All right, everyone, my apologies for this sudden disappearance. Right, let's carry on. Uh, we need to turn around with the passenger train, so let's decouple this one. Let's apply handbrake. Uh, we can remove the fusee and drop this down to 15. Oh, there is another piece of that. Okay. Okay, that will do. Now, quick fly over to this side. That should do. Right, another piece of there. Let's set it to forward. And this thing should. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so that's done. Uh, we got this guy at Connelly Creek. And this guy's arriving at Whittier. Perfect. Everything seems to be working so far. Okay, I need this one orders repairs. And maybe not this one. He going to try and connect on the road mode or is he going to stop he should stop i know they made a patch uh, like they released a patch somewhere yesterday it was fixing one minor thing in regards to handling cars in some sort of coal mines but oh there we go Almost got scared that he's gonna try and couple to the wagons on a road mode, which would probably result in a disaster of some sort. Anyway, Kat, it appears that we have reached the moment or the point at which. Oh, also, why is this so loud? There we go. That's much better. Right. Uh, chat, we have reached the point when we can begin this magnificent battle. And I can see you did a great job, chat. I know it's early in the morning. I know some of you might have not woken up properly, but 28 allies is impressive. We gathered a magnificent army. And I'm really proud of all of you. Now, since there is only a few of us, I shall strengthened our defense which along with my healer should yield some good results and now let's begin beautiful We are absolutely destroying these monsters so far with minimal losses. That was good. Chat, that was swift. Absolutely beautiful. 
outstanding performance everyone did a great job congratulations to Raliev who scored the most kills Mystic Lee chat for most assist and obviously Major Dusut congratulations you got a Barbarian Scroll on top of Standard War and Gipton you get three Warrior Scrolls which is also good right that was magnificent and ooh, the, the game just literally dropped multiple rewards on me on. okay archer please from start okay 200 gold I'm, I'm rich now <laughs> right Ooh, chat, do we want to go with unknown level challenge? I, I, I think that might be a really, really, really good idea. We never know what what we're going to happen, uh, what is going to happen. Yes, it, it might be easy level challenge and, and we'll just go through this map like it like it doesn't exist. But it might turn out to be insane level challenge. And you guys will need to put a lot of effort. To beat this. I, I, I think we can take the challenge. Chat. Yeah, that that's an idea. Let's let's take the challenge. So let's load the battle. Okay, so the battle has loaded. It, oh, it appears it might be very, very, oh, hang on, hang on. It's a cheeky level, okay? It's, it's not easy, but it's also not hard. It's a level cheeky. I, I, I can see that it's very, very cheeky. Look at this. We, we got only a few units here, but they are level 20. Bear that in mind, chat. So we need numbers. We need numbers or levels or both. Okay, so while you are trying to prepare this magnificent battle, and Nico, hello, welcome to the chat. Oh, you are in bed again. Yes, uh, unfortunately, my streaming times and, and your bed times seems to be aligning. Okay, let me just jump back into the game. And let's have a look at Cruise 1. And I've been joined by Tankis. Uh, let's see if there are... Oh, okay, okay. Everything is actually updating automatically. Perfect. It's past your bedtime. Ooh, so... So that's not good, I guess. <laughs> good night to you too. Good night, good night. Uh, right, uh, what what was I doing? Ah, there we go. That's, that's, that's what I need to do. Reverse, 15. Okay. Uh, extinguish my PZ. Beautiful. Uh, let's set this switch forward. Ok, 
Okay. Oh, I completely forgot to check whether there is something to pick up from Ela. It is a bit too late now. Okay, but it looks like... Is this one actually loading or it's unloading? I, I think it's loading with that miscellaneous. Can't remember, honestly. I, I, I think we spotted that just a few hours ago. Okay, never mind. Uh, not much is going on on with here. Uh, hang on, where, where's Tank? Is Did he actually disconnect it? Hello. Uh, right, can you carry on working on crew one? Perfect. Right, uh, what do we have here? This one, I can actually now. <laughs> Let's do it manually. I just need to connect back to this train get almost everything to Silva Interchange. That port is, is heading to one of the businesses. But I'll get that sorted. I'm going, uh, this one is... Oh, okay. This one's looking at another train because I was coupling to this train. Oh, I, I'm doing too many things at the same time and I keep losing my plot every now and then. Uh, reverse. Five. Perfect. As always, we'll just connect the passenger cars. And chat, it, it appears that I will need to buy another passenger car. Uh, first. Oh, fi finding that one place where you need to click there's 90 passengers waiting. Are you... Oh. That, that means we will have a very long passenger train. It's now connected. Release the handbrake. Nico Fabi, hello, welcome to the chat. I hope you will have a great time and stay here. And yes, I agree, I agree. When things get busy and when the map gets bigger and when there is not enough people to have a look around after things, uh, then yes, even AIs are not really... helping. That well, looks like Tankist is having some technical difficulties today. Okay, anyway, uh, road forward uh, 30. That's good. And uh, let's hop into Ela. Might be a bit far, but yeah, it, it will work. Right, back to it here. And now I think I can focus on what I'm supposed to do. Right, forwards. Brakes are released, which shouldn't be done just yet. Anyway. Okay. It's mostly empties. 
maybe except those like six or seven cars. Okay. Front of the train is empty. <laughs> the back of it is gonna be full. Oh yes, absolutely. Uh, it's it's a really well designed game, and that takes a lot of good stuff from from other games. Uh, for example, Run Eight. There is a lot of elements that you will also find uh, find in Run Eight. So definitely, there was a huge inspiration there. Especially when it comes to supplying businesses with with cars, spotting them at the right sidings, uh, businesses actually taking the stock out of the cars or loading the cars, and then you having to sort everything up and and put it in the right directions. That's definitely an element taken from Run Eight. And yes, yes, the fact that you get progression and, and you feel that your work is meaningful uh, also helps. Uh, that's, that's a... That's a fact, yes. <laughs> Unlike many other train games where... You basically just go from point A to point B. Uh, eventually you, you spot cars uh, in, in some places or, or do some shunting missions. And you get some scores, but that's that doesn't give you that sense of meaning, uh, meaningfulness. But yes, in, in this case, your actions are actually meaningful uh, because whatever you are doing is contributing to the success of your virtual company. So yes, that that's a good point to make. Okay, nice and slow. Look at that gentle. There we go. Danico Fabi, thank you very much for follow. Oh my days. I think I need to adjust this. <laughs> and this emote explosion. Also, why did why didn't Streamlabs update my emotes? Oh my days. Uh, they, they still use the old ones. They still use the old emotes. There are new ones already. Uh, I, I I guess it it's gonna take them a while to get these things fixed. Right. Anyway, silver paperboard. Where is that? Click on this car. Ah, that is silver paper ball. Only the middle truck. Okay, I shall remember about that. Oh, and, and on our way back, I can actually pick additional cars. Okay, uh, anything else? Oh, these can also go back to silver interchange. This can get back to interchange. Oh my days, there's, there's a lot of work around silver now. Okay, anything else to do? Let's check this now before I make some mistakes. Okay, that seems to be okay. Don't think we had anything at Parker's. Nope, not at all. Wilmot. That's literally just a single crack. 
Okay, let's have a look. Uh, is oh, I got wrong wrong button. Employees, yes. Tank is this online? Which button under the chat? Oh, boobs, it's a channel point. Yes, you can gather them for just watching my streams. And then hopefully in the future there will be a little bit more redeemables. But if you collect enough boobs, you can then redeem them for a small reward. Although I, I'm still in process of configuring everything. So right now there are just the most basic and default redeemables you can get. For example, you can unlock one of the emotes that are normally reserved for subscribers. Or you can ask me to use a whistle. Although I, I, I think that's a bit too expensive. I would need to adjust the price for it. Anyway, uh, which, which car is this? Uh, 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 uh. I think that's, that's the one that has a break on. There we go, found it. Ah yes, the instructions would be highly appreciated. A translated version of, of their website would also help. Right, anyway, uh, chat, I, I'm losing my plot. Yes, I, I need to get this thing to Silva, do I? Yes. Definitely. So we got 18 cars, 902 tons, so that's still quite heavy train, especially for, for this locomotive. But we are ready. Let's do it. Well, if they are similar in meaning, then uh, very likely I won't have any issues. Uh, but so far the biggest issue is uh, trying to read what's on my screen, uh, especially on the website, which already caused me to make first mistakes and, and I will need to make another account. because. Of that. <laughs> go we are slowly trying to build our speed with this rather heavy train the issue is that we need to climb uh, yeah we need to climb the hill uh, on our way to Silva so that is going to be an interesting challenge Up a Just quickly move the camera to width here. Uh, place a PZ here. Wonderful. Okay, there's nothing more to load because my train is full. Chat, remind me that when this train gets to Silva, I need to do some shopping and get some extra passenger cars. Okay, beautiful. Ooh. 
I like how the sounds can sometimes make some weird noises if you move the camera around. Ooh, chat, we are struggling. 50 miles an hour. Yeah, definitely I need to think about investing in larger locomotive as well. Because this little mogul is having some problems. Definitely not an easy task for it. Also, let's grab a nice screenshot while I'm on it. I always keep forgetting to take photos whenever I do something. And there's a good moment to snatch a photo or grab a screenshot in game. I always keep forgetting to do it. Honestly, like the amount of times I could grab a really nice photo if I'm somewhere out and, and I'm doing some activities uh, it's really like a weird habit of the model gets weak in performance rather soon uh, I mean it's the weakest locomotive in the game so I, I can say that uh, yeah th technically I'm not surprised to see it becoming obsolete quite quickly. Although I'm still having some faith in it. Because at this point, I don't want to take additional loans to get something bigger and stronger. So I'm gonna exploit this little locomotive for as long as I can. It's still impressive that it can pull 900 tons. And it's still going, although you can see that the hill is making a lot of difference. I'm barely making 20 miles an hour. Hmm. Thinking of it, maybe I should really invest in In a diesel locomotive, maybe, at some point? I don't know. I feel like transitioning to diesel would be a bit too quick. I mean, the price reflects uh, the fact that you don't really need a lot of facilities to, to use it. Uh, pretty much all the Ys and every single place that would let you turn around become quickly obsolete uh, with diesel locomotives. Uh, I'm also not sure about uh, multiple unit work in the game. Uh, I would expect diesel units to, to be very easy to configure uh, for multiple unit operations, while steam trains are not 
that easy to operate as a multiple unit and technically they shouldn't even have MU uh, tick box this player technically should operate both of them separately I have a feeling it's just a tick on that in there but I hope it's not I actually never tried that. Well, yes, uh, I, I, I definitely need to have at least one fueling station on the map. Uh, the question is how frequently I would need to fuel. Uh, diesel locomotives how efficiently they can use uh, the oil and how expensive it is to get a full tanker of oil because that's another story I see. If we have any signal table, that would be very useful, so I can review and, and check what, what, what the difference are. Can we make it? Can we actually make it all the way to silver? Or will I have to call another locomotive to help me? <laughs> it doesn't look too bad. We are still doing like 20 miles an hour. But it doesn't feel like we're gonna pass that magical barrier of 25. So I, I, I think at some point this thing will struggle a little bit too much. have orange stripe yeah but using one or two stripes basically serves the same purpose so i can actually understand why why you wouldn't need different color stripes if you could just use two of the same Definitely we, we hit a spot, yeah that, that's the hill, we are definitely climbing now, Ooh, look at that chat, this thing is definitely struggling. Come 
on, you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> Chat. That doesn't look good. It's only 16 pounds an hour now. Come on, come on, come on. We still got five miles. Okay. The speed is increasing, so I, I think we passed the danger zone. Wow, look, look how quickly we are burning through fuel. <laughs> That's definitely one difficult task for this locomotive. How far have we got? Oh my days, we, we just went past Wilmot. That that's literally just a few miles down the road. It is, but now I'm just thinking... I, I think we might run out of fuel by the time we get to Silva. Oh, and the battle is ready. Right, I, I think we might be safe for now. Right, that let's let's do the quick raiders battle. Oh wow. Chat. I'm impressed. Eighty allies? That's That's amazing. Okay, I, I'm gonna boost the offensive power of all my units. Uh, hang on. Whoever's gonna get into this area will get a boost. Let's fight. Wow, chat with army like that, nothing can stop us. Look at this. <laughs> I didn't even notice when it was over. <laughs> wow, that was very swift. That was rapid. Okay, let me just grab those keys. I don't know what they are used for, but they are very useful. We got rogue scrolls. Fantastic, rogue is a really good unit. Extra gold. Bomber scrolls, ooh. Sounds like a plan, let's build up my army. My archer, which is almost never used, is getting some level ups. I might give him some love. Uh, bomber, another good ranged unit. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, we shall carry on. Uh, let's go with this task. It should be... It should be hard challenge. However, I, I have a faith in you, chat. With army like that, we can't lose. Okay. <laughs> 
yes we definitely need to think about our strategy so i i'm going to provide healing for everyone who will spawn in top left corner and anyone who likes to take a challenge and build their army somewhere else feel free to do so however this is gonna be really interesting right chat 30 minutes to build your army i look forward to see what you're gonna come up with with our combined efforts we should win this quite easily now let's get back to railroader fantastic okay uh, train has left me behind but it's now steaming forward. Look at that. Yeah, we're, we're a bit low on water, but I should be all right. Uh, also, our passenger train is now ready to depart for Wilmot. And perhaps that would be a good idea to quickly place it. Uh, come on. Stop stopping me from doing things. Okay. Uh, hang on. Uh, let me just quickly delete this PC. Okay. And this one can now move. And we can carry on observing the progress of our little brave model. It is struggling, but that I'm quite sure we can make it, yes. It, it's pretty much straight shot all the way to Silva. We should be able to do it. Although, saying that, I'm, I'm consistently slowing down. <laughs> oh no, oh no, this is not good. Come on, I'm sure you can do it. I, I don't like the fact that Chaps went. Less frequent. And I don't like the fact that we are now in single digits. Don't do this to me. Right, definitely I need to drop down the regulator to, to increase the power. I, I hope that... No, it doesn't work this way, does it? Of course it doesn't work this way. The simulation level is not that high. To figure out that normally you would push the Johnson bar all the way forward get maximum power at the expense of maximum speed but I, I, I think railroader developers didn't realize that at the time when they were making the game I hope they will fix this at some point and, and make it a bit more realistic and for anyone who eventually plays any sort of simulators uh, it, it will be more logical because right right now the most logical action would be to push Johnson bar forward or in that case reverser all the way forward just to get that maximum power and climb up this hill 
but in this case it's absolutely meaningless so if this locomotive can't pull it it's already using maximum torque <laughs> Line against number two. Hang on. Let me just find what's going on in here. Where's where's my passenger train? Nice. There we go. Ooh, shot four point five. Yeah. Uh, I, I will soon find out if, if I will stall then yes if I won't then no well worst case Worst case scenario, I'm gonna use the passenger train to, to give me a post. Chat, this is not good. It is already blocked anyway. Believe it or not, it's already blocked, so focus on these locks. Because that, that is very time consuming task. Chat, chat, I, I think it's stabilized, okay? 3.5. I, I know that some people can walk quicker than, than this thing drives, but we can do it. I, I think we can do it. Although, I, I, I think we are facing another problem. Uh, can I actually make it to Dillsborough? <laughs> I mean, the good thing is, it has enough power to actually pull the cargo, which which makes me happy. The problem is, we are we are now facing another problem, and that is lack of water. So if we won't pick up speed really, really soon, and and that that doesn't seem to be able to happen. Yeah, I, I don't see it happening. DK Mogi, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. <laughs> it's eating water with hard work. I know. I know. The problem is that I, I don't have enough time for, for it to, to work too hard. <laughs> Look at that! It, oh, it, it's going so rapidly. Yeah, I got about five minutes. You run empty before you get to the top. Oh, very likely, yes. Uh, that that might happen.
Come on, come on. I'm still impressed that it's still going forward despite all the difficulties. Uh, Ten Wheeler is currently at... Well, it's approaching Wilmot. With a passenger train. Good news is we are still going forward. But it's not looking good. Definitely next time I need to remember to get a full load of water before attempting to climb this hill with anywhere above 800 tons. To be honest, Ten Wheeler isn't that much stronger. Yeah, uh, that is the sign. That is the sign, chat, that I will need to. You have a long climb from Bakers to Silver, about 1% uphill. Well, I still managed to, to get... Oh, I see, I see. So is... Is this going all the way? Yeah, so I, I, I probably won't make it. I, I still got like two miles to go. 260 gallons. Yeah. Uh, it's because 10 wheeler is a little bit more powerful, uh, but it has less fuel. more like it will flat out a bit to 0 0.8 see that's the thing if it will flat out a bit uh, for example at the tunnel uh, then I might have just enough fuel to make it to Dillsborough I think that you need to slow down you are way too fast thanks Ralia you know uh, I'm already driving at walking speed. You can't go any slower. Come on, it's just two miles now. Less than two miles, in fact. Hey, I can cover that distance in about an hour, according to my speed. I'm doing great. Come on. Just keep chuffing, keep chuffing. Yeah. I'm, I'm running a bit right there. I, I think I will need that 10 wheel. That's never going to work. We got less than a hundred gallons of water. 
To be honest, at this point, I, I don't think we have enough to even reach that tunnel. <laughs> yeah. Chat, can we at least reach the tunnel entrance? I, I know we are very close, but I... I, I I think... No, not going to happen. I, I, I need the coupler to at least be behind the entrance. Uh, we got two. One gallons. Zero. And uh, it died. It died. It died. And it's rolling back. Oh, no, 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 no. You, you're not rolling back. Ah. Uh. Well. We didn't make it. <laughs> okay, so so I guess about... I would say 700 tons is the limit for Mogul. Uh, just to be realistic. Anywhere above this, this little locomotive is just not enough. There's only one thing that I would like to test. Because AI is doing some weird things. If I do that, is AI going to actually pull that train? <laughs> it is releasing brakes for some reason. Well, uh, I... No, no. I... Okay, but AI at least realized that it needs to use brakes and it probably won't start is it yeah it won't start it will get stuck okay <laughs> uh at least we tried at least we tried okay uh, so now i need 10 wheeler to help and push uh hang on let me just find it uh it is at will mod And we just finished passenger exchange. And on top of that, still left some passengers. So. Let's extinguish the PZ. Atrimi, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. Okay, so. 10-wheeler is going to help. We got plenty of water, plenty of coal. Although it will have a little bit diffi uh, more difficult task. Uh, because first of all, we need to perform an uphill start. Pushing about 900 tons in front of us. And pulling additional... I, I don't know how, how heavy that is. Uh, uh, uh. Well, that's only two passenger couches anyway. But I hope I won't have to call in for a third locomotive just to just to make that hill. I literally just need to go to Dillsboro and put some water into the tender and then this mogul can handle it with some issues. Though. Right, so we need to wait for, for the rescue team. Uh, let's see, Tankist, what are you doing? Okay, he's spotting those cars, perfect. That's a brilliant work. I'm doing great, I'm doing fantastic. 
Just trying to properly wake up before going to work. Wrong key combination. Again. There we go. Let's let's move my character back to the locomotive. Okay, this one is stuck, so it's not gonna go anywhere. And uh, now I need fifty. Right. Chat. I need a good candidate for mainline locomotive that will that will do the heavy lifting because obviously that mogul just capitulated it, it, it just decided no I'm, I'm not gonna do it so I need something to replace it. and we can go with consolidation which would be a good idea I guess we can go for uh, hang on Pacific is just ah uh, no Pacific is just slightly stronger so the the switcher okay but the switcher is a very tiny locomotive it has massive tractive efforts and I agree with that but it's a switcher yes as as the name would suggest it's a tiny locomotive it's not intended for a mainline operation not not at this scale you want something that is strong but has also let's say purpose for for such operation and switcher is mostly for shunting so it can handle heavy load because you want to move large cuts of of crates It will also do great on uh, branch lines uh, when you have to support uh, supply, let's say, coal mines and stuff. So switcher, I I, I would see it in that role, uh, but I don't want switcher to be the main line locomotive. Uh, I, I I want something designed for it. Obviously, Berkshire would be probably the best, but I, I don't have thirty thousand dollars laying around or GP nine. Or a, ideally a pair of GP9s. I mean, Switcher actually has less power uh, than Consolidation. And the price difference is just literally... $1,000. So that's not something that would scare me off from getting consolidation, really. Uh, we could go with a bigger mogul. That is two. Uh, that is still two six zero. It can handle very tiny curve radius. This one can take eleven tons of coal, five thousand gallons of water. And has tractive effort of 25,600 pounds. So that's. I don't know. That is a tiny difference, chat. Th this is only. Just over $300. That's a difference between G25 Mogul and C25 Consolidation. Uh, the question is, can I get 10 grand?
Well, if I will spot all the cars uh, that need spotting today, advance to tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow morning I could technically get uh, the more powerful uh, version of Mogul. Uh, what else do we have? A26 Atlantic. Well, this can handle curve radius small. To be honest, like uh, looking at increasing power, the biggest jump you can get is between logging tank Mikado and logging Mikado. Although they appropriately increase in price. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It would be nice to be able to see those locomotives before you buy them as well. Uh, but I think we can go with consolidation. I don't know. I, I have a feeling that it's going to be really good locomotive. The only thing that bothers me is curve radius that is set to medium, which means that it is going to be purely mainline locomotive. I, I won't be able to send it on uh, some of the branch lines uh, because they will just be too tight for uh, for consolidation. And probably some of the sidings might not be good enough. Okay, ARC2. I don't know what AI is doing right now. But instead of just approaching and, and stopping when, when it sees another train, it is trying to pull closer and closer and closer and closer to the and to the back of that train. And it's still AI driving ARC2. What is going on in here? Well, are you going to stop? Fantastic. Yard 5 forward. Right. First things first. As soon as this thing connects, I need to sort out the brake situation. Getting dark in the game. <laughs> Can you gently? Okay, perfect. Glad hands are connected. Now, question is whether this is going to work. Uh, so I need to cut this out. Okay, so it sets the brakes to to be cut out. Throttle can be set at zero. Can I set? Yeah, this is the manual. Okay, so the boiler is completely cut out and technically it should work. So now, that's the big test. Road forward. 
30 miles an hour. Can ARC2 do it? Something's not not right. I'm gonna cut it out. Now I'm gonna cut it out. Well, I I, I guess we're gonna give ourselves F for effort. Or E for effort, there we go. I think I will need to take it myself. There we go. So the first one is cut out. I will switch this to manual. Can I see any movement there? Well, apparently I don't. Am I using any water? Apparently I do. Am I moving forward? Not at all. F in chat. F in chat. Ah, right, Tankist, are you there? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, can you abandon this task for a while and help me out? <laughs> okay, I... I you know, I, I had a fate in that little locomotive and and unfortunately it let me down. Yep. The first one is out of fuel. The second one can't push everything alone. So I need the third one to give everything a push, so we can overcome this hill. Thank you. I know, I know. Well. See, chat, that's, that's what I got for trying to be greedy, okay? I, I, I tried to be greedy and, and use the cheapest locomotive in the game to do the job. And, and that's what I end up with. This, this mess. This, 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 this is a mess. Okay? Yeah, that's... Oh, phase one, Bryson Bridge uh, line to Fontana has been completed. So I can now collect uh, empty cars. Uh, hang on. Chat, I, I don't feel like we can start a second phase today. Or maybe. No. No. 
second phase will have to wait. It, it's going to cost me 1500, but obviously I need a stronger locomotive first. So I can't have three trains going back and forth, uh, moving small cuts of trains all the way to interchange. I need something that can take everything, just drop it at silver and forget about it. Uh, but ARC3 uh, seems to be doing good as a switcher, so I will promote it to this fantastic task. Uh, because as a switcher, the cheapest locomotive in the game, I think that's probably a good idea for now. At least until I can get a dedicated switcher with a little bit more power. And a little bit smaller wheelbase. Yeah. So that 060 uh, seem, sounds like a good idea, especially for a very, very tight curve. Darvix, thank you very much for reminding me. Yes, uh, yes, the battle is ready. Uh, let me just pop into Stream Raiders. I keep forgetting about things, do I? There we go. Ooh, look at that. Our brave warriors are literally everywhere. <laughs> okay, uh, so what do we have? Orc Tank, level 5. That's that's not a challenge for, for our brave soldiers. Uh, Goblin Rogue. Okay, Orc Tank level 10, Orc Warrior level 20. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna. Ah, I'm gonna place a curse on all of them. So this group can literally just. destroy that little army. Okay, okay. There's, there's a lot of different enemies, but we have Magnificent Army of 111. So. Without any further ado, let's begin this beautiful massacre. Okay, okay, that, that was quick. That was quick so far. We are losing a lot of soldiers. There's still 50 enemies left. But our main battle group is approaching the enemies, and, and this is a serious firepower shot. This is a serious firepower. Okay, there's only 28 enemies left. We suffered heavy losses, nearly half of our army has been wiped out. But in this very difficult battle, I believe we can prevail. We're doing really good. There's only 10 enemies left. 9, 8, 6. Two. One. Last enemy and... Chat. That was... A beautiful battle. That's what I call content. This is a beautiful battle. Chat, it's only thanks to you. This was a beautiful victory. We suffered heavy losses. But it's understandable. The odds were against us. But... That was just beautiful. I, I, I can't express how happy I am to see... That magnificent and huge armies that you built right let's carry on with the momentum let me just claim whatever the game is pushing on me so i can get that out of the way there we go we got some extra points that i probably never used right do we want to go with defense or do we want to go through the forest Tank is redeemed Hong Kong. I will sort it out in a second. Uh, 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 uh. Right, let's uh, let's go for defense. Got a good chance of uncommon scrolls or seven plus gold drops. 
Use the purple placement zones to hold your position against monsters. So now we are defending. Okay, it's gonna be a difficult challenge. But I'm sure we can do it. There we go. The battle is preparing. Beautiful. Right, my healer is still trying to get ready. So what I'm gonna use... I will defend with the heavy artillery. Right, chat, it's all on you now. You need to build a massive defensive force. Don't forget about a few healers, that's my advice to you. So get some support units. Because that's gonna be the probably one of the most important units that we have in this battle a support good support is a victory okay i'm gonna leave you with that for another 30 minutes and in the meantime let's get to ray Roda. okay we are still waiting for tankies to join us but can do Hong Kong. A little delayed Hong Kong, but hey, it's it's one of the old redeems that, that I set up previously when I read uh, Affiliate and I never really followed up with that. <laughs> and yes, basically the main intent was to make me use any sort of sound device that is equipped to any device that I'm uh, that I'm driving so if, if I would be driving a train then obviously I would use a sound uh, if I would be driving uh, one of the trucks in Euro Truck Simulator or American Truck Simulator which I do very rarely uh, as I don't have wheel, uh, steering wheel anymore uh, then yes I, I would just use a horn and do Hong Kong <laughs> so yeah, that's the reason. Uh, I need more and more speed. Uh, to be honest, you, you can't really go quicker than like what, 35 miles an hour on, on the main line, unless you want to derail. And that's what I want to avoid. Uh, there are some parts where you could technically go quicker, but I don't know. It doesn't seem like a good idea. Add map ed editor to railroader. I, I doubt this will happen. Right. So I see. You are getting close. That's nice. Okay. Okay. Well, it looks like it's going to be a very, very long day in Railroad. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. the tunnel uh, with, with this oh i see look at that like external camera can't even get into the tunnel it will bounce you up okay that's how they solved it okay i can see the smoke and a dim light okay
Uh, Danico Fabi, I, I, I don't think it's going to be because of the map editor. Uh, I have a feeling that developers eventually will try to release uh, another map in other US areas because like it, it's not only North Carolina where railroads were built. So, so they can pretty much select any area uh, around the US and, and there's going to be different challenges, of course. Uh, but I've never seen them announcing that they they plan to release a map editor. I, I don't think that would be the case. Because it would mean uh, that they have to build a separate tool that will generate something that the game can read and implement that whole system into the game instead of just making the map making just a different map and putting it into the game so yeah well we'll see what's gonna happen the game is in very early stages of development and you know you can have a massive and big plans and uh, you might end up with with something that doesn't quite work. Okay. Uh, let me just now. Uh, 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 what what am I going to do? All right. ARC two is on a cutout. Hold on. Okay. Oh, I see. Wait, did you just configure everything as a multiple unit? That's actually working. Well, it doesn't seem to work. Right, hang on tankist, give me a second. Uh, right, this is cutting in, okay. Uh, ARC3, now I need... Let's just release that. That needs to be cutting in. I, I need both of them cutting in at the moment. The system is weird. Uh, now this one needs to cut out. And as soon as I cut it out, yeah, it, it doesn't seem to work. Okay. Okay. Yes, we are we are trying to go uphill. So you need to push us. Wait, where where are you trying to pull this train? Uh. 
Not just not. All I need you to do is to just push. Yeah, so don't turn multiple units because units are not directly connected. So, all I need you to do is to apply throttle to push the train forward and that's it. I, I don't know how multiple unit works at the moment. It's it's not been tested and I don't have fuel to experiment with that. Okay, fair enough. Right, so configure it for multiple units uh, as you would do and, and let's see if it's gonna work, but I, I don't see it working. Anyway, I need to get this train to Dillsboro. Okay, l let's, let's see if Tankist can do magic. I don't know because I got a heavy train. Ah, oh, I see. Right. Well, it, it should be able to move at eighty nine anyway. Right, chat. Are are we gonna get this train to Dillsboro by the end of the stream? Because I I, I have a feeling that this is not gonna work. <laughs> it's it, it's just my my small prediction. Yeah, I know. I told you that uh, one of the locomotives has no fuel. Rally at this point, according to this tiny indicator in bottom left corner, all the brakes are off. Although it 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 keeps changing because I I left Rally with with the full controls so that we don't try to do opposite things uh, because so far we we couldn't quite agree to. I, I, I told you instead of using multiple units we should just use manual and, and apply full throttle and, and try and push this forward, that's it. And because, yeah, I, I would like to point out that very soon number two will also run out of water. Yeah, it, it's currently very low on water, so... The more we try to experiment, the worse it is.
Well, you are trying to use multiple units in, in a train that clearly doesn't seem to work. I, I, I have a feeling that's that's going to be basically the story of it. And oh, hang on, hang on. We got progress. Chat, we got some progress, but can we make it to Dillsboro? I mean, I have to say I'm quite impressed. We we are doing about seven miles an hour. Can we just build a momentum to get us through another two miles of tracks? We can fill up water at Dillsboro and that's what I need. It, it's just one and a half miles away. It's not far. Well, next time I will know how much I can take with this locomotive in this direction. I've been going in the opposite direction and I took twice as much as I have and it was perfectly fine. I will remember that next time when I will make a purchase. I think they might have changed that. G25 Mogul is currently at 10,000. They they swapped it with Pacific, which which is now for well, technically I could get P18 Pacific for 6.6, .6, but that's not much of a difference. If I get enough money, uh, then I will happily buy each and every locomotive in at least one unit. But at this point, we don't have money. We have to make do with what we got. Hey, 
Anyway, we're doing pretty fine. We got... Oh, we got only one working locomotive here. Yeah, but now you need to aim this train so that I can line up a uh, first locomotive with a water tower. Speaking of water tower, I probably need to line up the switches for us. Perfect. Oh, Ralif, this is not intentional. Uh, I, I forgot to enable that. Thank you very much for uh, for reminding me. Uh, right. So my apologies for for entire of that for that entire time. I, I've been speaking with Tankist on Discord, but you couldn't hear him uh, because I forgot to enable that in OBS. Uh, so that streamer fail. I, I I admit I, I made a fail. <laughs> not the first, not the last. Now you will be able to hear him. About multiple unit system, totally. Mm, you won't understand without a hundred grams of alcohol. It just you not it's not understandable system. Nah, it, it, it just has weird settings that that need to be learned. I think they made the same settings as in run 8, but again, in run 8, if, if you messed up uh, setting up your locomotive, something didn't work, and, and, and there's always that one thing that that you fail to, to set up properly then, then, although then, it, it's uh, still it's still simplified compared to run 8 because in run 8 you had to select uh, the correct end at which you connect something to, to your locomotive otherwise it wouldn't work in that case you, you just select that it's working in multiple units and it should automatically detect uh, where uh, is the other unit? Said I can't uh, try run it because I can't buy it. Because sanctions. You know. Ah, yes. I, I forgot that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Only one hope I wait can I leak it in, into the torrent. I think. But it's uh, <laughs> little, little uh, percent can uh, it's happened. Oh well, uh, there's nothing you can do. At least not at the moment. Right, chat, we're, we are almost there. Almost there, finally, after... What was it? Over an hour, is it? I, I think we... Uh, I, I, I think we've been struggling with, with this issue for over an hour now. And the train is at Hillsboro. There we go. We are now rolling in. Something here I have. From that cage, I'll, I'll just make. Okay, so I put those because I drive. I yes, I forgot not to.
now following the wrong locomotive. Okay, now we need to stop. At the right place. <clears throat> okay, stop. Oh. oh, too far, too far, too far. Damn, I. Uh... What? Pull it back, pull it back. I'm gonna tell uh, you how I'll... far. Wait. Brakes, brakes not releasing. What the heck? Um. Don't use AI for that. I not use I I in manual mode. What the heck? Um, Hang on. What? I can cut in. No, I can cut out. Oh, okay. What? The last locomotive is having full brakes now. Wait, uh, we, uh, wait, which locomotive? The last one, the one that, that you technically drive, or that you should drive. RC1? Uh, yeah, I believe so. RC1 RC uh, have released brakes. Really? What, I, wh what are the numbers saying? Because I, I can see on... Number, number one uh, brakes released. Doesn't look like in, uh, in By uh, yeah. Hata, so, brakes release it. Just check. So, so number one, you set it to cut out, and and this is the only locomotive with working boiler. So if you cut it out, then obviously you won't be able to release the brakes. You cut out everything else, and you cut in. Better if I ca cut, uh, cut out all locomotive without uh, water. Yeah, and for some reason. ARC1 is still on cutout. Why is it on cutout? Wait, ARC1? Yeah. Check ARC1, check car. It, ah. it literally has cutout. Wait. So now you are cut in and there you go. It works. I uh, number two cut out, number three cut out, number one cut in. Yeah. Now if you can reverse literally by two meters mm. yeah four two x okay see mm. Just a bit more. And stop. Oh, you overshot. There we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got water. Stop. 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 Just... Just set a uh, handbrake. Whew. Shot. We made it. It was much more difficult than it was supposed to be. <clears throat> that was much more difficult than it was supposed to be. Uh, definitely after all that, I'm going to be buying a new more powerful locomotive. Okay, let me just set the switch gears. I need this locomotive to get to silver. And oh, I'm gone. I need to be ideally I want to be on one of the trucks. 
how, how is this set up. So I'm gonna go there and then this splits and it's gonna send me on to the middle track. Okay, from middle track we will join this one, okay. That's my idea. And then I technically need I need to place a PC there. Okay. Chat, I know, I know. The battle is ready. Just give me a minute. I can do that. I'm gone tankist. Uh, now, what I'm gonna do... Uh, hang on, hang on. Stop uh, everything. I select another locomotive fleet. Oh, I see. Are you gonna refuel ARC2 as well? So... Right. Uh, can, let's uh, let's allow tankers to... Uh, help you full uh, field. I try use multiple unit and try understand one thing. Mm -hmm. uh, only we've connected to locomotives, it's working. It's it like uh, GP9, GP9, for example. Ah, I see. So it basically needs to be the same model locomotive to work. Right, chat. Chat. No, I, I'm looking at this no, beautiful and magnificent no, army. Uh, and I have to admit that... If uh, you can uh, use a different locomotive, but he not need connected uh, to your locomotive to use it. Oh, I see. So it needs to be directly connected. Uh, right, right, chat. I, I, I'm looking at this magnificent army and I can't find words to express my gratitude. Uh, direction uh, of locomotive notch matter. It's 118 units. It's Next. beautiful, chat. Wow, this is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Oh, hang on, that. that, that. That's not weird. Button is okay. There we go. Right, chat. Without any further ado, let's begin this epic battle. Okay. Our brave defenders are trying to hold the line. Okay, looks like we've been defeated down here on Southwest. Okay, the central group is holding really well. Now everyone spreads out. And we did it. Chat, we did it. That was wonderful. Wow, congratulations everyone. It, this was magnificent. This was magnificent battle. I... Wow. I'm super impressed. We are consistently building massive armies that just plow through the enemy. And I have to admit that I'm... I, I, I can't find enough words in English dictionary to express how grateful I am for all your efforts. Hang on, there's something that I can explain, but it doesn't seem to work well. There is, there is, oh, we, we gained artillery scrolls. Yes, artillery is a very important unit. It is doing a real good job. Right, I, I can actually promote the artillery, do I? Oh, I can get barbarian. Okay, we can upgrade the artillery. Legendary unit, level two. Healer, oh, that, that is probably 
Number one of the most powerful shooting. units I can get. Rogue. Fantastic. More levels, more levels. We will have that precious firepower. Lovely. Chat, chat. Beautiful. That, that was beautiful. Right, let's follow up with another battle. This is going to be a very difficult challenge, but I'm, I'm sure we can do it. Uh, the, ga the game definitely takes a long time to load. There we go. Beautiful. And now, as always, I will just support our efforts with this super powerful healer. And I'll leave the rest to you. We just got a few bots, so that, that shouldn't be a problem. Right, chat. 29 minutes to place your precious units and I look forward to see those beautiful army that we will build in the meantime we're back with Ray Roda right uh, since that train is stopped now coupler is now off okay I can get ARC2 Cut out this. No, roll forward. 30. Okay. I'm gone. Why? Why is this thing not? Angle cock are on. That opened. Yeah, okay, okay. So this train is just trying to move. But it's gonna take some time to release all the brakes. That's understandable. I'm not sure wait some what no the, uh, the first train can go i i, I don't he feels he feels just i uh, check uh water before yeah i know but i just need the first train to go nothing else uh, the rest can stay in mm. here for now so I, I needed help because i ran out of fuel i i don't need help because this thing can't pull it wait uh, which which one number two yes but uh, you can actually leave number two right now and uh, basically number one can go back to okay. uh, to Whittier. Because I, I already got fuel and, and this thing can carry on. Uh, we should okay. be all right now. Uh, you are switched to the wrong locomotive. Oops. There we go. Oh, wait, what? You uh, are using uh, uh, yeah. ARC3. Just, so, uh, can I click to need locomotive here? Sometimes it's not uh, selected. <laughs> That's fine. Right, uh, let me just decouple you from. Oh, okay, you decoupled that. Okay, thank you very much for help. Okay, perhaps now uh, this train can finally reach its destination. We are definitely using a lot of water in this one.
Whew, chat, that, that was that was one adventure, I have to say. Hopefully we will now be alright. We just need to get to interchange, spot all those cars and we should be perfectly fine. Yeah, it shouldn't be too much of a challenge. Worst case scenario, I can use Dillsboro. Just roll it back. Spot everything on this spare track. And we should be alright. Passenger train will have to wait for now, so... <laughs> I, I'm sure these passengers are enjoying the trip. They, they, they were stationary more than... Uh, than anything else. Okay, okay. Well, it is still very slow. But it's doing it, chat. It's doing it. 8 miles an hour. But I'm sure this time we have more than enough water to make it to the top. Okay, so, while AI is trying to climb uphill, I need to make myself another coffee. And that means a very quick break. So, I'll be back in a second.
Alright chat, I am back. Looks like AI is struggling a bit, but... I don't know why, but I have a feeling AI has reduced uh, fuel consumption. Look at this. The train is still struggling. That, that's without a doubt. It, it's doing about 7 miles an hour. And it doesn't feel like this train is going to go any quicker. But AI just used like 800 gallons of water even while trying to struggle with this train. Okay, okay. I, I guess I will use AI more often because <laughs> definitely it, it feels like a bit of a cheat. I, I wouldn't imagine myself being so efficient with fuel as as AI is in, in this case. So this is impressive. Anyway, let's switch to the full game window. There we go. That's much better. We can see a bit more, although since it's night time we can't really see much anyway. We are now approaching Silva. The question is, is there any fusee that will stop me? Uh, last thing I want to do is to stop for a fusee at a place where I don't want to stop at the moment. To be honest, this train is a, a tiny bit too heavy for this locomotive to mandate any stop. It just has to go all the way through. There is no other way. Okay, looks like the battle is gonna be ready in 16 minutes. That's good, that's good. Okay, Tankis is coming back to Whitia. He'll be there soon. If he still has Okay. Oh, okay, he, he has those cars. Look at this. It it took us so long to deal with this heavy train that Quite a few of his skeleton cars are now empty. So he could technically respot them. Yeah, looks like there's constantly something to do. Okay, the freight train is currently rolling through Silva. As soon as that's done. I can send in the passenger train. ARC three. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Don't, don't, don't you dare doing that. I should have seen that. There we go.
Beautiful. Okay, I can now place a PZ here. And get train number two moving. Orders road forward 30. Oh, and it was on a cutout. Beautiful. Okay, so now we have to wait for that train. To reach its destination, which is a few Z right ahead, uh, right up ahead. And then we can spot the last four cars onto paper something siding get everything else to Silva Interchange and then there's a few wagons in here that need spotting at the interchange as well gonna be a bit busy
There we go. We are back. What is AI doing now? No, no, no. AI will have to stop. There we go. Okay, we we got some extra money for passenger fares. Okay, we can actually change that switch. Uh, we can. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ah, oh, hang on, hang on. What is it that you want to do? Supply full braids. I don't see it happening. Okay. I was... I was operating the wrong train. And that's why I couldn't figure out what's going on with this one. So apparently because this AI failed to stop at the fusee. Because the train is rather heavy. It decided that it's gonna keep trying to pull closer to that fusee. Oh my day. Right, we now got signals from Witter to Bryson. I wonder how that, uh, how that is going to work. Okay. Let me change those switches and make sure that everything is set up. Looks like it is. So I can do road reverse 15. And it should work. Yeah, it will. Well, it eventually used some fuel. But we will now drop 200 tons from, from our weight, so that should help. That should definitely help. I can then pick those, is it? Yeah. Uh, I can pick those and get them to interchange. And I can pick those and get them to interchange. Okay. Is there anything else? I'll be fine. Okay, let's see if AI is going to stop properly. I think I know what's wrong with AI right now. Uh, obviously, Nico is not watching me because he's currently sleeping. <laughs> Uh, but he complained a lot about AI being too timid and, and not able to pull close enough to, uh, to the end of the track or any other obstacle that AI used to be able to handle perfectly fine. And what I can see right now is that 
because previously AI tends to overshoot with heavy train. They reduce the power that AI is actually using to operate uh, to operate that train. So now AI is just too delicate. It's trying to use too little power uh, to achieve the goal. And at that very end section where it needs to be very precise and get close to the PZ or any other obstacle, it just can't handle the hill if it's uphill section. So if you place a PZ on the uphill section, AI might end up in endless loop of never being able to read the PZ because it will try to not go over the PZ and it will apply too little power uh, for what's needed, if, if that makes sense. And AI won't realize, okay, I need to build a bigger momentum earlier to then have that momentum to spend in order to stop at the PZ. Also, instead of making it so that AI always stops at the fixed length from the PZ, they should make it so that if AI stops within that distance, even if it's out of the target distance, it won't re it won't attempt to readjust. And in this way, it will just report, okay, I'm stopped at the PZ, even though I'm, let's say, two cars length away from the PZ. I, I feel like I really stopped at the PZ. Uh, however, that will probably create a few mo uh, few other issues down the line so uh, you you can't really satisfy everyone but uh, on the other hand I, I feel like this could be done a bit better in some places anyway we are now about 200 tons lighter which will help us uh, spot these 14 cars in fact, we'll make it a bit more than 14. So I got them three uh, that I can pick up with me. I got them four that I can also pick up. And I and finally, I got them three that I can attach to the end of my train. So I'll try and do all of that. Uh, I'm not sure if I got enough time for this, but... Attempt attempts will be made and then I will just spot everything at Silver Interchange The gravity is definitely doing its thing. And oh, the battle is ready. Hang on. Let's have a look at our raiders. Oh my days. I, I have a feeling, chat, this is not gonna be a long battle. Why is it why is it saying that it it's this heavy battle? We got 124 units. I, I have a feeling there's something cheeky going on. Right, I'm gonna set up a killing field in here. Just in case there's something hidden that we don't know about. And now chat. This... I, I have a feeling this is gonna be a victory of epic proportion. Okay? Well, it, it's definitely gonna be a victory by... Heavy proportions. <laughs> if if there's only ten units on enemy okay, side, uh, this uh, is gonna be uh, epic. Uh, low wagons, I will go. Okay, thank you very much for helping me today. <laughs> Bye. See you later. Right, chat. Let's begin. Is this, is this only than ten units?
Hang on. Hang on. So, I I thought there there's gonna be some hidden units. I I thought there's gonna be some nasty surprise waiting for me. Chat. That was. That that shouldn't be legal. <laughs> This game trolled me really hard. Look at this. How was that supposed to be very hard challenge? Well, chat, thanks to thanks to your amazing effort, this turned out to be really easy challenge. Wow. <laughs> That should be illegal. Well, definitely this is a glitched uh, speedrun of some sort. Uh, we got silver batch. And we got some meat. Okay, chat. I think we can attempt one last battle before I have to go. So let's let's see this unknown challenge, okay? Let's see that. So get yourself ready because this is the last battle of the day. Okay? That there, there will be no more today. Because I gotta go to work. But we still got time for this one. And I'm sure we can we can make it epic. So, chat. I will place my unit. I will place my unit here. Right in the middle. And I'll leave you with the decision of what to do. There is a there is a large enemy presence. In the northern section. The, there is much less enemies. Closer to the south. West. Yeah. And southeast is also relatively long. Although it may be cheeky. That there are some level 20 units. So. Prepare a massive land army. We're gonna need it. Yeah, Rally, uh, to be honest, I, I was also surprised. They show more unit type in the info, but apparently, well, this campaign is called Glitch. So basically, we will have some, some cheeky moments when we think it's going to be a bigger challenge than it is. And there will be some moments when we will feel that the challenge is much smaller than it actually is. This one is definitely challenging, so I will need your help. Right. Meanwhile, in another universe... We still got some cars to spot. Right, uh, let me quickly verify. Yes, this is the right stuff. Reverse. Train is going this way. Let's... Get this thing done. Can I actually make it to do all the switching and spot these cars at Silva Interchange before the battle begins? That is a good question. Slow. 
speed is just perfect. Wonderful. Connect flat hands. Hang on, where is that handbrake? Uh, it is somewhere. There we go. We can release the handbrake. Now we can go forward. Okay, now we need to pick up those. And to do so, I need to get back on this truck. Got 17 cars now. Okay, slowly and steadily. Okay, now we can reverse. And I need to pick up them four. Let it coast. There's no need to apply any throttle. We still got some coal. We still got some water. Although we are slowly running out. There we go.
give it a bit of a push. very very precise movements what are we doing when it comes to finance well still about two grand short from getting bigger and more powerful locomotive Switching is definitely difficult if you do it at night <laughs> without any light. Okay. Well, that worked. Okay, that's brake release. Now I need to pull this train out onto this track, get the locomotive alone and bring the remaining three wagons from another track that I need to operate. Okay. Let's get this cut spotted. Seven hundred fifty one tons. But a lot of these are just empty wagons now. Okay, we can now stop. That should do. Decouple. Let's apply the handbrake. Now we can use the brakes. I need to pull out those hoppers. We will use these tracks to go around them. Okay, that's that's totally doable. Cut, there's still a few minutes left uh, before the battle begins. There we 
go. Go now in the first, and I need to go. I think we want to go back. Okay. And that's the wagons we want to grab. Beautiful. Night time switching. Okay, our passenger train, yeah, for now it will remain at silver. And that should be enough uh, but definitely I need to think about getting passengers through more efficiently uh, a few more passenger cars uh, will definitely do the job So we won't damage anything. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, now I need to make sure that I won't accidentally go onto the wrong track. Uh, can do that. Release the brake. Disconnect the glad hand. Give it some forward momentum. That should do for now. Just need to wait for those hoppers to roll themselves in. So I can go around them. Ok. 
Okay, that's the stuff. Let's play it safe. Technically, if I would have done it the opposite way, so I would push those wagons to roll loosely on, on that bigger loop. And then try and overtake them on the smaller one. I could try... Oh. I, I could try like a rolling couple, but I don't know. It doesn't feel safe. It doesn't feel safe, definitely. Might as well try and keep our safety statistic a tiny bit higher. We already had one damaged car uh, near Silva Station, I think. Or was it Dillsboro? I, I think it's at Dillsboro. And we slightly damaged the other car. So perhaps let's try to not repeat this mistake. Okay. Speed is down below 5. Glad hands connected. Release the handbrake. And off we go. Now we just need to get ahead of our train, connect back to it, and get everything back to interchange. And hopefully that one single cut will fit on, on one of the sidings. If it does, then I will have additional jump. Well, there is only one way to find out, isn't it, chat? And don't forget to place your units, there is only 8 minutes left. For the final battle of the day begins. Okay, we're almost there. Drop some pressure in the main pipe 
for train break. Make sure that we won't mount well, that we won't slam into this uh, cut. It would be a bit of a shame to damage something at the very end of the stream. And that was rather tough uh, and hard connection, but we made it. Okay, that's 806 stones. Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Let's have a look. Okay. I think we can try. And fit everything on, on this siding. The train should automatically stop. And I hope that won't be a mistake. Yeah, I think we can still fix it, in case something happens. So, I will allow AI to do it on its own. Let's see how AI can handle that one last push. 24 cars. I'm not sure if that's actually going to fit. Chat, did, did any one of you ever measure how long are the sidings on at the interchange? How much cars you can actually fit? So that you still have space to use the middle track. many cars I can actually fit on a single track. I lost some momentum because it wow it's quite visible that the tracks are going uphill so AI will obviously struggle or rather the locomotive will struggle AI will do just fine Okay, the question is, am I actually going to fit everything? Ooh. 
Ooh, just three more, two more. Well, chat, I, I think 24 cars still leaves you. Yeah, 24. I, I think we can go up to 20. Well, I think 26 cars would be the limit. Uh, just to be. Oh, I'm gone. I, I, I off where I am. Yeah. Okay, uh, so yeah, uh, AI will stop roughly here. Okay, let's say 25 cars plus locomotive. Uh, that should actually be the limit for uh, silver interchange. So if anyone ever wondered. How many cars you can actually fit. Uh, that's that's probably the limit. Let's let's see our finances. Well, we've just received twelve hundred ninety nine dollars that's that's quite a lot of money for a single train uh, although was it worth it <laughs> you can judge yourself the train really took a lot of effort to, to be brought here and there are still some cars that needs to be spotted at silver interchange anyway chat i'm nearing the end of today's stream there is one last thing to do so let's get that done because our battle is ready chat chat this is amazing this is just amazing i wow you impress me even more every single time I come back to look at Stream Raiders. Honestly, 153 units. I, I, is that a new record? Hang on, what, what was the previous one? Uh, I, I need to start taking notes of that. 153 units. Just, wow. You guys are epic. You guys are absolutely epic. Look at this. This is gonna be beautiful. Right, so we are surrounded by trees and water, so this entire army will have to move roughly through this area. So to boost most of the unit, I, I think putting a bonus in here will work the best for us. I, I think that will work, and, and then we will boost the defense of most of the unit. So, chat, let's begin the last battle of today's stream. Wow, that is beautiful. We suffered heavy losses, but that is something we expected. The main army is literally just flowing through the enemy. However, we take a lot of damage from those archers. Can we actually take them out? Oh, lo looks like some of our units are being chased by orc barbarians, but that was dealt with quite smoothly. Well, that, that was a victory of epic proportions. I'm super proud of you. We suffered heavy losses, but it just proves that this was a very difficult challenge. You deserve every single coin that you made in this battle. 
invest them wise or we will come back tomorrow right chat yes with that beautiful and nice accent we will now wrap things up so i won't start another battle until tomorrow morning i will be back at 9 a.m uk time or whatever is your local equivalent i believe central and eastern europe will have around 10 11 ish uh, for american viewers it will be probably middle of the night uh, but you can check my exact schedule uh, somewhere in my channel page. That, that there should be a schedule tab and, and I posted that on Twitch for your convenience. And Twitch will automatically adjust the time for your local time zone. So you will see my exact schedule or more or less my schedule uh, on Twitch. Uh, I usually go longer than, uh, than I schedule myself for, but hey. I'm trying to start at at appropriate hour. Anyway. There we go. That that that's that's a little bit better screen to, to finish off. Right. I, I, I can't express how grateful I am for all of you who tuned in today. It's it's really nice to see numbers constantly growing. And it's really nice to see that you guys seem to appreciate what what's being done on on this channel and definitely that is going to in the right direction and i will try and keep it up for you guys uh so uh what's what's gonna come in soon uh i will try to introduce something else than stream riders uh, to to keep you guys a little bit more in, entertained and engaged uh, tomorrow i'll be back with marbles so if someone wants to join me on that one uh, that will be tomorrow morning's tune of uh, morning coffee with admiral uh, so unfortunately no more railroader at least not tomorrow uh, i'll be back with uh, some more trains on saturday uh, but for tomorrow yes uh, I, I think we just need to calm down sit down and do some marble racing everyone can join all you have to do is to type in uh, appropriate command on the chat and you can just join in uh, I will obviously be running Stream Raiders, uh, so if you prefer to just sit down, watch, and occasionally enjoy uh, leveling up in Stream Raiders, that's something we will keep on doing. And I will try to set up channel points so that you have some interesting things to redeem them for. Apart from that, well, if you like this, uh, drop me a follow if you are watching this stream way after it ended then i invite you to to join it live and if you are watching all that way after it happens uh, somewhere on youtube then perhaps you want to check out my twitch uh, channel where things are happening live yes and finally don't forget to join my discord server all the links are down below the player or in the description down below if you are watching this on youtube or wherever you are watching this and, well, I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.